Hello and welcome back, this is Alpegoros here with my let's play of Yoshi's Story to the Nintendo 64. In the last episode we played Lift Rift something, which was the third level on World 1, aka Part 1. But in this episode we shall take on the cavern and the level known as Bone Dragon Pit. Also possible to find the Black Yoshi in this level. And we shall use White Yoshi for this. And we're also in a cave, obviously. It was called Bone Pit. Anyway, avoid these flowers, but kill them if you can. Bone Dragon. Bone Dragon hates a pounding headache as much as an egg to his face. Also, with the normal Yoshis, don't eat these things. The white Yoshis can take it, but the normal Yoshis cannot. Actually, I want white eggs. So screw you, green eggs. I want all white. You can barely see the mark from these as well. What the hell? Uh, might as well go for melon and watermelons. But here we have a bone dragon. That's what a bone dragon looks like. And that's how you beat him. Actually, I think you can do this as well. Which essentially means you can either headbutt on them or shoot eggs at them to kill them. Like the um, hint system said, he hated a headache just as much as, uh, well, eggs to the face. Also, watermelon. Hey, look at that, it's Poochie. What do you have, Poochie? You have a heart. Wonderful. That's pretty much all the hearts I need for the next world. Also, be, don't be too quick to destroy these. As you can see, we could easily take out the bone dragon like this if we save the blocks. Actually, I wonder if Yoshis can break this. The white Yoshi, rather. Nope, not that way at least. I want to destroy all of them. Nothing in them. But well, I'll do fine with those two eggs. Just like I said. Oh, well, it's time to continue onwards. And break eggs. I mean bubbles. Mm, might as well take this. There's really no bad things about it. Come here, white egg. And we have yet another watermelon. And it sounds like a mist warp. And yes, it is. Let's see here, nothing special. And only one way through. Well, I guess that's alright. Watch out for the fire. The bone dragons do breathe fire after all. And as you just saw, it only takes two eggs for you to kill them with eggs. Find a ways. Look around, it's not too far. Can you find a special yard? Probably I will. Let's sniff it. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Oh, I like to. Oh, you douchebag. You know what, like to? Go die. Ah, like to. Why are you no longer alive? Hmm? Oh, it's here. Oh, madam. Well, let's find that hidden yard then. Oh, of course it goes out. But not to worry, I made it. I actually thought the yard was hidden in the ground or something, but I guess not. And if you recognize this song, it's... I mean a boss song. We have the three-headed bone dragon. Uh, not, very, not a very hard boss. And here we have the entire form of it. Oh, we actually got three melons. Hmm. Now, I think you have a chance to get the white Yoshi, I mean black Yoshi in here. And uh, a white shy guy as well if you have lost a Yoshi already. Which actually do happen. If you watch episode uh, 
What was it? Episode 7? No, episode 9 must have been. Or 8. Because that's the episode I lost two Yoshis and found a black one. Other than that, it had a horrible end. I don't actually think you can kill these nor hurt them, so don't bother with them really. They can hurt you with their jumping though. Also, coins, I do want you. You give me 10 extra, 10 extra points. And those 10 extra points actually add up to my total score. Actually, how many fruits do I got? Oh, sweet. Hmm, down here. Or I could go here. Of course, that's always an option. I got one more egg. And the wrong fruit, of course. Uh, not sure if there is anything in there, so... I'm not even going to bother. We need more eggs to get through there, uh, to the right, though. Oh, you actually have to grab these eggs to uh, progress. I guess that's all right then. Actually, there should be a level in Yoshi's uh, island, which is very similar to this one. Also, not enough eggs. Wonderful. But anyway, Yoshi's Island is a pretty fun game. At least the, uh, when it comes to the SNES version and the GBA version, then the GBA version is my favorite since, well, it's, first of all, it's a remake. A remake which have added more extra levels and so on. Oh shit. I wonder if I can get extra scores by killing them like this. I can eat them, however, so it's alright. What do we have in here? Question mark switch. Step on it and look around to see what changed. Hurry! It won't last long. Oh, it's uh, the heart. But we basically have all the hearts we need anyway, so... It, it's not the end of the world, so to speak. Oh, you want me to go to the left, huh? Well, screw you guys. Apparently I'm going back there. Oh, I see. Oh, right, this place. I remember this. I do, in fact, remember this. Who would have known? Okay, then. Uh, it doesn't seem to be activated. Let's see what this one leads me. Oh, it goes down. It makes sense. Uh, nothing special to the left there. Nothing really special to the... Uh, and we have more melons. Awesome. Okay then, let's head up and to that warp. Which we saw earlier. Through the wall. I think this should be enough. Yep. Let's see here. Oh, another melon. And another watermelon. Now we only need five more in order to become happy. So we, that we can continue onwards. Also, I think you might miss something if you... Oh, we can go up there back again. Taste a tulip. Taste a tulip to turn Yoshi into an egg. Cancel with the B button. Move the control stick to power up the egg. Release it to launch Yoshi where you aim. Use the tulip to launch Yoshi's to new heights and to discover lofty secrets. Well, that sounds kinda awesome. What is there down here then? Melons so far. Lots of lots of melons. And possibly bone dragons. What do we have up here? Surprisingly, nothing. Um, there might actually be a secret with either white shaggy or black. Black Yoshi. I'm not so sure about it, actually. Maybe I should warp to number three. We'll see about it. A big A? What does it do? Take it with you. It's better than the average Yoshi. 
Oh, I see. And that's actually true, it is better than the average Yoshi. The average Yoshi is kind of bad. Let's see what's up here then. Apparently nothing. As far as I can see at least. Yes, there was a tulip here. There we go, large. Not the way I wanted, but I guess that's alright. Watermelon and two more fruits. Oh, look at that. Question mark. Let's see what's inside then. Some kind of warp. Let's go into it. Actually, I've forgotten completely what it is in here. Oh yeah, they can also try to flip you off from uh, his head by uh, moving it upwards and so on. Uh oh, do not want death. Luckily they have been kind enough to put out a flower here. Okay, that's another head. That's one single head left. It's actually the hardest one to hit. Mostly because of the platform and so on. Let's see what's in here then. Another heart. Awesome. Now all we need to do is get the two more fruits and we should be all fine. And hopefully I can get over 3000 points this time around as well. But we'll simply see about it. There's actually one place left for us to explore as well. But we need the platforms in order to get there. I think that should be enough. And down to the left. Here we go. Let's see what this warp leads us. Oh, special stage. Special delivery. Ground pound to load up the melon boxes, then carry them to the finish. Okay. So it's basically like the others. Except that we only require two in order to, prog to uh, beat the level. And there's actually shy guys. Well, I guess that was all right. I have lost, lost 200 points because of that. But let's stick with regular fruit for now then. Just to end off the episode as quickly as possible. Unless there is something up here which I have not yet discovered. Doesn't seem like it though. We have a pair of banana. Eat just one more fruit, yes we know. And we have an apple. Awesome. Well, we got big di diversity in melons at least. Now watermelons. Let's see our total amount of points then. Ah, uh, too bad. Oh well. It's good enough. In the first round we actually just got about 2,000, so... As they continue to look for happiness, the Yoshis got lost in a dark cave. Inside lived Bone Dragon. If the Yoshis say they surely be eaten. They escaped, of course. No Yoshi wants to become lunch for a dragon. The page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. 